I'm Shay Russell for mining.com.au and joining me today is Matt Healy, the CEO of Astute Metals. Matt, it's fabulous to see you again. How are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm great. Thanks, Shay, and thanks for having me. Uh, and who wouldn't be fabulous with results like these? Listen, your Red Mountain project over in Nevada is turning up the goods quite literally. Mate, can you talk to some of the key highlights of this recent assay result? Yeah, sure. So we've just completed our uh, six-hole April drilling campaign, and these are the results for the first hole have come through. And, uh, yeah, so, some really outstanding uh, results, some high grades. We've extended mineralization further north. Um, yeah, very pleased with these results. Uh, all right. Now let's get back to the bones of this exploration program because this is really a, you know, a confidence in your thesis that you've put forward. You've gone and done the desk geology and then you were out in the field in April. Uh, so how does this prove that you're sort of on the right track? Yeah, look, um, well, basically this, this, if you go back to our announcement, probably about mid-February, we put out an exploration target to the market. And on that exploration target announcement, we, we showed where we thought the mineralization was. And so these holes are basically going along strike and testing that exploration target uh, at each point. And so um, to have a successful result right off the um, starting line, uh, it's fantastic. It's showing that our interp is uh, is accurate and um, and we've got increased confidence moving forward. Now, as you said at the start of today's conversation, there were six holes in total drilled in April and this is the result of one. That tells me that there's a lot of news flow to come over the coming weeks. What should investors look for? Yeah, look, investors can look forward to a, another uh, five batches of drill holes, basically. Um, so uh, we're expecting those to come out at regular intervals in the next probably six weeks. So plenty of news flow uh, about this, you know, this fantastic project. Now, I know in past conversations, Matt, we've talked about the mineral resource estimate that you're working on. How do these drill results fit into that? And when can we expect more information on that? So we put out the exploration target um, in February. We've, we've, done, we've designed these holes so we can sort of test our uh, interpretation. Once we've got this drilling campaign out of the way and we'll, we'll, we'll finalise our interpretation, we're going to do one more drilling campaign. That's probably all we need. And then we can go out to the market with a maiden mineral resource estimate at the end of the year. We started today's conversation mentioning the high grades, but what are the actual details of that? And why is this so impressive? Yeah, well, we actually intersected three zones of lithium mineralization in this hole. Uh, the highest grade, one of those I'll, I'll, I'll single out. So we've got 32.4 meters mm. at 3,260 parts per million lithium. I mean, that's, that's a really outstanding result. It's our highest grade intersection uh, in the project to date by a long shot. And if, if people aren't familiar with these styles of deposit, I'll, I'll say, I'll put this in context. Most lithium clay resources have an average grade of below 1,000 ppm. Ooh. So that's, that's, that's most of them. Now, the most advanced one, uh, which is called Thacker Pass, it's owned by... Uh, Lithium Americas. Lithium Americas has uh, about a billion dollar market cap in Aussie dollar terms. And their average resource grade is is uh, just over 2,100 parts per million lithium. So we're starting to get grades now at Red Mountain that are really catapulting that potential up into the upper echelon of these um, of lithium clay deposits in the US, which is you know, it's fantastic. Uh, Matt, I'm going to just double down on what you just said there. You've just pointed out that this is an exceptional grade and is better than some peers in the industry. What does this actually mean overall for the, the project? Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll say two things. Um, our highest grades are all occurring in this northern half of the project. That seems to be something that's coming to the surface now. So we may have, um, we may have started to just intersect some of the highest grades we'll see in the project. And, and, and we're only gonna unravel that with, with more drilling. Uh, but in terms of the peers, there's really only two or three other projects out there that I'm aware of that have intersections you know, in excess of 3000 PPM. So um, it's, it's, it really does set this project apart from, from, from many of the others in the US. Uh, listen, Matt, congratulations on today's announcement. This is fantastic. And it's good to see the Red Mountain project go from strength to strength. Uh, you can bet I'm going to want to see the next batch of results from this drill program. Thank you so much for being here today. Yeah, thanks for having me, Shane.